Hi, meteorologist Tony Petrock in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link with a quick evening update as of the 9 o'clock hour. It's around 9.30 in the evening. Uh, some data coming in. want to update you on uh, what's ahead for the uh, next several days. Well, once again, we've got uh, some showers on the way. Take a look at pictures in Newport as of around 9.30 this evening. Uh, so far, the visibility is okay. There's no dense fog yet, though I do expect some fog and perhaps locally dense, especially along the south shore later tonight through at least uh, early uh, tomorrow morning. High temps today for your Wednesday, topping out in the low to mid-70s, made it to 74 in Providence. We're thinking low to mid-70s for uh, Thursday as well. We've got uh, some unsettled conditions the next couple of days with uh, well, more showers ahead. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's raining nonstop all day Thursday and Friday, but the chance is there. Actually, later tonight, overnight, a few showers, not a lot of rain tonight. And then come Thursday and Friday, uh, occasional showers and an embedded thunderstorm, and we'll watch for some uh, coastal fog as well. The good news in all of this, uh, the weekend looks nice, both uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, a little warmer. I, th I think the only downside with uh, Saturday um, is some gusty wind, but otherwise it's a bright, mild, and uh, dry day. And getting even warmer early next week. Summer-like temps will show you that in the uh, seven-day forecast. Uh, here's a satellite and radar composite. Uh, as of the 9 o'clock hour, there's really not a lot of rain out there. You see some isolated specks of green indicating a, just a couple of passing showers. The skies are mainly cloudy, but there's more precipitation off to our west out towards uh, upstate New York and Pennsylvania. In fact, it's this system uh, across uh, the Midwest and the Great Lakes. You can see it right. Let me try to highlight it for you. All right, right there. And that's going to track off to the uh, northeast next couple of days, and that'll help to trigger, at times, some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms both uh, uh, Thursday into at least uh, Friday morning and Friday afternoon. In fact, let's get real close and walk you through it. Hour by hour, starting off this evening, all that gray represents essentially um, low clouds, areas of fog, maybe a few showers um, during the pre-dawn hours. Here we are, 8 o'clock in the morning. Take note, it's in the... Uh, Mid to upper 60s, it's very humid, some fog. You see elements of showers that occasionally come through both during the morning and afternoon. Every now and then to get a heavier downpour, even a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm. Uh, Mid-afternoon, around 3 o'clock, we're in the lower 70s. And then towards evening, 6, 7 o'clock, some additional showers coming through. Uh, kind of damp and humid, very mild. I mean, 11 o'clock Thursday night, the temperatures are close to 70 in some locations. So for your uh, Thursday morning, early fog, especially um, near the ocean, mostly cloudy, mild, humid, temps in the upper 60s, some scattered showers, not every hour of the morning and not every hour of the afternoon, but the chance is there, uh, even an embedded thunderstorm. And temperatures somewhere between uh, 70 and 75. I think as you get closer to the coastline, it's more like the upper 60s. So uh, keep the umbrella on standby. What's this? Where am I? <laughs> Let's fly through the clouds here. I want to show you the bay forecast. And, you know, water temperature now is uh, getting up there. It's in the, um, the lower 60s. Got a southeast wind at light speeds. Uh, visibility poor and fog and showers on the bay for Thursday. Waves 1 to 2. High tide just before 11 a.m. Uh, low tide just before 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here's, here's the good news. Well, first of all, let me show you Friday. Uh, temps again, low in mid-70s. Uh, we'll bring in the... Uh, a chance of uh, some scattered showers on Friday. Oh, my mouse doesn't want to work. Here we go. Uh, mostly cloudy. However, by Friday evening, Friday night, it's actually going to clear out. Wouldn't it be surprised if we see, now the sun sets during the 8 o'clock hour. Wouldn't it be surprised to see a little bit of sun by evening on Friday. So clear Friday night. This sets the stage for some pretty nice weather Saturday and Sunday. Again, I think the only downside with Saturday, it's a gusty breeze, gusty wind, but it's a dry, bright day. Temperatures upper 70s, near 80, low 80s on Sunday, less wind, sunshine, and uh, we're much warmer Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, temps mid and upper 80s, we'll watch Tuesday for uh, either a scattered shower or a thunderstorm. So, a little unsettled the next couple of days, just keep the umbrella nearby both Thursday and Friday, again, not raining the entire day, but scattered showers occasionally coming through, better Friday night, and then looking at a pretty good weekend. All right, my updated forecast, not too far from now, it's almost 10 o'clock now, uh, 10 o'clock on Fox Providence, and then again at 11 o'clock on WPRI Channel 12, and Mish is in, Michelle, 
bright and early Thursday morning, starting at 4.30 a.m. with your updated forecast. That's the latest uh, Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.